In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a unique digital element using the Exotic Exquisite Collection. And I'll also show you how to superimpose an image into an egg using one of the Pastel Exquisite Collection eggs. I'll be using Craft Artist Professional for this demonstration, and I've already created a 12x12 12 12 document and have all the images loaded into the program. So I'm going to begin by dragging the eggs onto the page and then what I'll do is I'll start composing them into the final image. So there's my five eggs already on the page. Okay. So this first one here, I'm going to increase the size slightly. Then I'll bring the next one down. And I'm going to do a little bit of a rotation. And I'll bring this one down and I think I'll decrease the size on this one. Of course, you can do anything you like. This is just the, my interpretation of it. You could actually make a whole border out of these by using the whole collection. That way you would have 12 different eggs in your design. And here's the last one. I think I'll decrease the size of this one. Then finally, I think I'll bring this to the forefront. So I'm going to click on that, go to order items and say bring to front. Okay, so now I have all the eggs arranged the way that I like. The next step is to go ahead and add the bevel effect. So what I'm going to do is draw an imaginary box around all the eggs and that will select them. Then I'll go down to material depth, click on the arrow, then I can see the slider bar and I'm going to start sliding this bar up and you can see that the bevel effect is being applied. So I'm going to put this probably co close to about 100. There we go, 100.6. And now these are really starting to look like eggs. The next thing I want to do is add a shadow to each of them. Now I can do this two ways. I could click on them individually and add a shadow, or I can just select them as a group and add a shadow. So the preference is yours. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to select all of them at one time, click on the shadow tool, and you can see you've got this bar right here. And what this does, it says, where would you like the shadow to appear? Would you like it to be down to the side here, or would you like it to be more up to the top? And again, that's a preference that you can uh, experiment with, and depending on how you want your finished product to look. Okay. So there we go, now I've got my shadow applied to it. So really the next step is just to save this, and I would suggest you save it as a craft artist document. That way you can come in and you can edit this again. Or you can save it as a PNG file, and that way you'll save it as a digital element and it will maintain its transparent background. So that's the first part of the demonstration, and that shows you how to make this beautiful egg or this digital egg element. But I think before I move on to the next one, I'll select all the items again and choose group. Okay? So that way I can move them all as one piece and I can resize them as one piece. So I can make that quite large if I wanted to. Okay? So I'm just going to move this down the page because I'm kind of done with that portion of the demonstration. Now the next part is using an egg from the pastels collection. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto my page. And I'm going to increase the size of it. Okay. Then I'll drag and drop the picture that I will superimpose into the egg. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this a little bit and I'll put them side by side here. So what I want to do is I want to crop this and I'm going to use one of the punches. So I'll click on the scissors, go to the punch menu, and I'll choose the circle. Now it automatically adds that circle to the image for me, but I'm going to distort it and make it more of an oval or egg shape. And I want to give myself some borders here. Okay. I'll make this a little bit smaller. Then I'll click on cut, and this area that's got like a transparent look to it, if I click on that with my icon, it removes it completely from the picture and that's exactly what I want. 
So with the picture still selected, now we're going to add a transparency effect to this. So click on the icon that looks like a wine glass, and it's the transparency tool. Then go over to the menu and select radial. Now you'll see this little black dot in the center here. Don't move that dot, but go slightly above it and click on the blue line. And that will add a new blue dot to the, to the image. Now as I click and hold and then move that dot up the blue line, you can see that the transparency is less visible in the center, but still on the outside of the image. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to say OK with that. Then I'm going to click and hold and simply drag and drop it onto the egg. Now I may want to add, well, let me see, I think I'll decrease the size of this just a little bit and add a bit more of a transparency. So I'm going to pull this a little bit closer to the center and that makes the edges blend just a little bit better. So there you can see we've got the egg and the image are blended together. So I'll draw an imaginary box around those two to select them. I'm going to go ahead and group, go down to material depth, and then just increase the size of that until I get the effect that I like. Around about 100 again seems to work. That looks great. And again, you could go ahead and add a shadow effect, whatever, you know, whatever look you're looking for. So this completes the tutorials and I will follow this up with some examples of things that we've actually made with this. In this example, we took text and embossed that onto each of the eggs instead of using a photograph. On this one, we took a lovely Easter verse and just superimposed that onto the egg and you can see this would make a beautiful card. So we hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you'd like to find out more about the Exquisites collection, we do have two volumes, each consisting of 12 digital eggs. You can find us on the web at www.poppyhilldesigns.com.